Hey guys, Sam here, and today we are going to do this reorder paragraph, okay, which does not look much difficult, but it actually is, and it does require some thinking, and sometimes you might second guess yourself, okay, so we'll start. Now, what is the most important thing in your reorder paragraph? You have your context. Context means your understanding of the paragraph. Then comes your independent sentence, then is your repeated words with uh, with which you help, uh, you group the words together. Okay, you make pairs, and then ultimately when you revise your answer, you keep in mind the context, the pattern, the structure. Okay, the meaning. Now we'll start with this one. So if you see right away, number one cannot be your independent sentence. Number two, whole generations are growing up addicted to the telly. This can be your independent sentence. Number three, we have even given up. No. Number four, television hasn't been with us all that long, but we are already beginning to forget what the world was like without it. So if you see number four actually is capturing the essence of the whole paragraph. So that is what your independent sentence is. So even if you do not read the whole thing, okay, you if you put it as your independent sentence, then you start looking for pairs. Okay, then you start making pairs and after you have made pairs and seen if those pairs are correct, okay with the help of context then you can finally justify if your selected sentence if it's a big one if that is your independent sentence okay so we'll put this as our independent sentence now you start looking for repeated words so if you have a look uh, number two does not have repeated words per se okay so we'll move to number three if you see number three it says a uh, program and number five says program. So what you do, you put number three and number five together. Now the question is whether number three will come first or number one will come first. Because if you read, both of them are most of most probably the same, right? So what you can do is trial and error method. So you put number four first, then you have number three, then number five, okay? And then if you put number one and then number two, okay? What happens? Is number one connected to number two? If you look at it properly, number two is basically your conclusion because it is summing up everything. Right? Now, if you see number one as well, it says uh, uh, or gulp down our meals to be in time for this or that program. Where else do we see program? The third one. Don't interfere with the program. So this or that program and then the program reference. So please make sure that you read the whole sentences. So your correct order would be number four, then number one, number three, number five, and number two. There you go.